Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a design team project for Wild Great Crafts. So I will, as always, put the information down in the description box for all the items that I'm using. But first, we got some order of businesses to take care of, honey. I totally forgot to pull the winner of um, the giveaway that I was doing to give away the complete Let's Get Organized set series that I did. I'll put those videos down below. That was the magnet mouse traps, the desk calendar, and the table um, notepad. I didn't pull a winner. So that will be done at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. So I apologize. You guys know if I don't write it down, it's out of here. So all right, now let's get to the items that I use for the project that I am showing you today. All right, I use the Pale Pink Open Roses in 20 millimeter. They are so pretty. Definitely have the spring is coming up. I did order some more flowers, so I cannot wait till those get here. Super cute. I also use the 20 Mixed Pink Tea Roses in 40 millimeter. Super cute. I use the 50 Mixed Green Tone Cherry Blossoms. There's a pack of color missing. They're gone. That's what's left. I use the 100 mixed color rosebuds. Really tiny. They are four millimeters. Look how tiny they are. I use the 50 white leaves with stem, 40 millimeter. Mixed white flowers and rhinestone embellishment starter pack. I used the um, tiny little rope and roses down there. I used the 50 white hip rosebuds, the white Kibachon angels, uh, 20 white cottage roses, the 25 millimeter. the pale uh, pink autumn blossoms and I also use the white autumn blossoms so we have two of those left I love these and then finally I use the uh, white crown pins all right these are the items that I use in my project today all of these codes will be listed in the description box along with videos that I've done recently for Wild Orchid Crafts, their website, their Facebook. You guys be sure to check out all of the other design team members projects. It is some fantastic inspiration. I'm not just saying that. I scroll through like, wow, that card is so pretty. Click save. Yes, it's that good. So check it out. I wanted to mention a couple of things that I used in this project. I use this Christmas tin. I got a few of these in a couple of different sizes from the Dollar Tree um, this Christmas. I, my intention was to fill these with um, mini cheesecake muffins, which I still may do for my coworkers. Um, it's just that I join Weight Watchers and I don't know how many muffins would actually make it to work. So I just, you know been reluctant to do it but anyway they are super tiny and they're cute but what they will make is a great um thing a great container to hold a gift in which is what i did today so if you are lucky enough to have some of these left at your dollar tree grab them you can always wrap these in paper um they they are really tiny and they're really cute so i got that pick that up from the dollar tree um also from I believe Amazon if I have it if I find it I'll put the link down in the description box I got these cute little watering tans they are so adorable and this is um, they're so tiny excuse the pain on my hands guys you know how you know how I do so they are so tiny and they make the perfect gift for if you want to just give a little something you can even put doodads in here make a little lid and you know have it pop off for the recipient decorate it paint it stain it do whatever spring is coming up these are super cute gifts and i got them a pack of 12 for really inexpensive so you can get send out 12 of these to 
12 people and make 12 people happy leave the count at 12 the link will be down below if i find it but that's what i'm doing i think it's super adorable and i was inspired by um somebody had decorated this in their yard a big one obviously it was a big watering can and she had big huge sunflowers in it from the dollar tree and i thought hmm and hers was rusted on purpose or maybe accident been there for a long time but I said, hmm, that would be cute if I scale it down a bit and send it out. And so that's what we're doing. So let me show you without further ado what I made. I'm starting first with this super cute card that I made. I used the Dollar Tree um, sentiment because I love them. Um, it says one of a kind on here without the glare. It's a three by three no card backed up with white. Uh, 120 pound weight chipboard and I used some lace double layer lace I used the Prima Tea Time paper collection that I purchased um, digitally and it's an old paper collection and I've layered it a couple times with some gold washi paper that I have in between there more layers I used that white autumn um, flower here and then the cherry blossom down here and just layered it and glued it distressed the edges I think it's super cute what a super cute card there's washi here on the inside adorable so that card will go with that altered can it's so cute I love it look how adorable it is I'm gonna let that sink in let it sink it's so pretty guys seriously and it was really fun to make um so yeah i wanted the recipient to get the full effect of a blingage that's the bling situation so i have mixed silver and gold in my project so that's what i did on everything silver gold and i used some iridescent because in some of my stickles i use this um uh, diamond stickles which has flecks of both of them in there so I really wanted to mix the two I thought it was adorable I wrapped the entire box with the Prima Tea Time paper with this particular pattern then I went over it the base with another half inch sheet just to kind of give it a little border I didn't want to have any lace or anything down um, I want the recipient to be able to reuse this canister I went over the uh, layers here with some um, silver bling trim. Here's some washi that I used um, around the edges and then I covered the top with more of the paper. Now at the top I just folded in some lace that I have from my stash. You'll see some of the beautiful, beautiful roses. Um, the this is from that multicolored pack um, from Wild Orchid Crafts, that big one. The mixed pink tea roses. See, all of those gorgeous. I love it. It's a variety. Oh, I forgot the flory one. I forgot to tell you guys this one. I think because that's my last one. Yeah, I don't have any more, but it's the pretty flory flowers in white that's my last one I'll find the code and put it on there for you had silver tips but I went over it with the stickles here's the leaves that I used this was a gift from Wild Orchid Crafts so I left that on there um, for your perk like a thank you for your purchase gift and then there's the flower there's some more of the cherry blossoms there really cute some more of the leaves and I just kind of entangled this um, gold piece within um, just kind of twirl that around the top layer of the can there okay so let me take you on the inside super cute I just love it so I have a little bit of the tissue paper because I love tissue paper and look so the recipient will have a cute little pin cushion pail <laughs> it's so cute it's just adorable it's a two-in-one I absolutely love it you'll also find that I used some of the um, wild orchid craft um, pens to go inside so you can always include your own of course 
the crown pins are absolutely gorgeous and I included one of my own wrapped it up in this cute little polka dot bag folded it over so it wouldn't stick anyone but look how cute this pail is I went around the entire pail with some heart and gold heart washi tape with gold um, hearts and then also some lace um, trim and then I use the cherry blossom there's the hip rose buds there's the tiny buds the angels the beautiful autumn blossom flower in pink um, the um, some more cherry blossoms the open roses the little leaves and I can't think of the name of this one but never fear white cottage roses that's the name of that one really pretty I used a little gold word there to say elegant so so pretty and then I made this pin cushion myself and it's pretty deep you can put your pin in there really really cute I think this makes a great gift and like I said you can make it into a stick pin cushion add your own uh, homemade stick pins that you want to give the recipient shove that in there or you cannot you can fill it with goodies make a little lid for them to be able to use I mean it's just absolutely adorable so that's what I made really really cute and then again you can take all of the pins out and then you can put it back in the little the gift and of course the box is reusable so that's like a two-in-one gift so they got the pin cushion that they could use to store and house a lot of their own pins um, that they've made themselves or that you're gifting and then they have the box that they could reuse really really cute put the little thing back on there and then there's the box that they can reuse along with this super cute card so you guys be sure to check out all the links in the description box for everything that I've mentioned in this video be sure to check out Wild Orchid Crafts and the other design team members. You will not regret it. You will definitely come back inspired. All right, now stay tuned for the giveaway video from the last Wild Orchid Crafts project. All right, guys, like this video if you like it. I really appreciate it. If you do that, it means a whole lot to me. And um, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this project and if you will try it. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Alright everyone, I am using YouTube Random Comment Picker, so what I'm going to do is head over to that video come chat desk notebook wild orchid craft video. That is the video that I said I was going to give away the set. I have highlighted the URL and I am pasting it into the comment picker. It has detected the number of eligible comments and so I've already pressed start to determine our winner. Winner, if you are here miss sandra st hilaire please leave a comment below and i will send you your prize pack thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys later bye